fam, it's Eileen, your independent Cincy consulting girl today. We got a big box that's sitting here on a chair that has one of my favorite boxes in it and it also has the Harvest Collection. So you guys, grab a snack because we're going to be unboxing a lot of stuff, including September 2022, not 2023. Girl, I said 2023 in my last video. I am in 2023 mode only because I have a senior and she's going to graduate. But girl, this is September 2022's Whiff Box and also... The Harvest Collection 2022. Girl, we got to get this right. So let's get into it. Grab your snack. Grab your drink. Girl, I got mine. We got water today. You guys, I'm coming to you guys with crazy gym hair. Literally just came from the gym. Threw off my top because, girl, I had all the sweat on it. And threw this top on because I had two huge boxes at my door. I had so many orders for the Harvest Collection, including my stuff. So let's get into it. We have, oh girl, this chair is gonna fall. Let's bring it closer, oh girl. All right, so we got warmers, we got stuff. So I am gonna unbox some of the warmers that I got. So most of the Harvest Collection I already own because they came out last year. And you know your girl here, be buying everything. And so I said in one of my videos, I am out of counter flame. I am out of hand soap. I am out of bathroom cleaner. So that's what we caught up on. We got, um, let's see, let's separate these because we got three and three. I think we got three bathroom cleaner, which we got in Make a Splash because this is my absolute favorite scent of all time. Well, one of them. And we got the bathroom cleaner in Vanilla Mint. This is new. Now, Vanilla Mint did not come back for the wax, but they did put it in a uh, cleaner, which I'm super excited for. And we got Johnny Appleseed in the bathroom cleaner. I think I'm on my last bathroom cleaner. And I'm totally out of counter clean, which we got in Coastal Sunset. I love Coastal Sunset. It's a beautiful coconut scent. We got it in Vanilla Mint. I think this is going to be my favorite for the winter time. I should have stocked up more on this, but it is what it is. And we got my favorite, Johnny Appleseed, in the counter clean. So three bathroom cleaners, three counter cleans. And they're not in the, what's the new one that came out for the harvest? Apples and cinnamon sticks? Girl, I don't need no cinnamon. No, no, no. I, I need I need it to smell clean, not, not spicy and not cinnamon. And I also got the hand soaps from the Harvest Collection, which returning is Bright Cider Life. This is absolutely amazing. I love the way Bright Bright Cider Life smells in everything. Appleberry, we've had this in Sugar Scrub, which smells amazing. And we I want to say we've had it in Scentsy Soap as well. And then we got a Caramel Apple Craze, which I don't think I've ever had Caramel Apple Craze in anything, body line, body care, anything. So I'm excited to try all three. I'm loving the new size. I think the price mark for these soaps with this size, for me, I like it. Um, it's it's a good one. I have no, ooh, bro, that's going to be in everybody's life. I've got no complaints there because you know sometimes I complain. So we also got wax. So I had to separate out my two boxes. So cover your ears. Sorry. So I got the Harvest Collection wax, which I have already smelled at SFR uh, this year. And I did pretty much like everything but one. Of course, there's always one. But then I also grabbed me a six pack because I realized I, if you guys saw my uh, YouTube short, I had to um, organize my wax. And I really don't need any more fall scents, especially with like, I have like 11 bars of Perfect Pumpkin Pear because like I stocked up on it every time I went in the clearance section. But I needed more scents. It just is what it is. So these are the six bars that I chose for my six pack, which I should have got other scents, but whatever. It is what it is. These are my favorite. Um, Cran Apple Crumble. This is one of the new 10 scents. This is beautiful packaging. I love this. I loved it on warm. Oh my God, this smells so good. If you love bakery, this is what you're missing in your life. This is club worthy and I haven't even warmed it yet. You get that Cran Apple you get that crumb top, like you get this warm vanilla 
maybe a little bit of like syrup maybe but this is warm comforting i can't wait for this freaking heat wave to be over we are in week two of our heat wave here and let me girl let me tell you it, it is hot it's dark in my room again because it is daylight but we have to keep everything dark because it is a heat wave they wanted californians to lower uh oh my god we got like this big old alert on our phone like please lower your air conditioners and all this because they didn't want rolling blackouts so it's you know california's crazy we have perfect day i'm in love with this girl i haven't even warmed them and i'm already in love with it just smelling them oh i just can't wait i'm already thinking of mixtures i'm already thinking of mixing this and alternating warmers with um halloween town i think that would be beautiful i'm already thinking of a lot of stuff farm stand pumpkin so in um all my stash that i've had i had no farm stand pumpkin so i am glad that i um ordered this because Farm Stand Pumpkin and Bright Side of Life in Alternating Warmers is one of my favorite go-to combos. Oh, and I love this pumpkin. It is really, really good pumpkin. Oh, I think that's part of the harvest set. Oh, girl. I'm already getting uh, stuff mixed up. Falling Apples. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Falling Apples. I love this on warm and on cold when I smelled it. And it is oh beautiful. It's a little woodsy. And I don't like woods, but I do love this. If the apple comes out more with that like I don't know if it's like a cedar scent oh but girl yes I can't wait to warm that either first day of fall is one of my absolute favorite scents um it's it really does smell like fall it has pumpkins apples a little bit like of leaves and stuff oh but it's so good and no cinnamon even though I think this has is supposed to have cinnamon but I love it. First day of fall is absolutely one of my staples um, for Scentsy. But I don't know why they put it in my club. Hmm. But it came back. And pumpkin roll. I cannot live without pumpkin roll. I like pumpkin roll a little bit better than pumpkin cinnamon swirl because pumpkin cinnamon swirl is that cinnamon. Ugh. And I love this more because it smells more like cake, like a pumpkin roll is. So that's why I think I lean a little bit more towards pumpkin roll. And in my stash that I just did and organized, I had a lot of pumpkin cinnamon swirl, so which I add vanilla to pumpkin cinnamon swirl, but I'm thinking about adding the give me candy to pumpkin cinnamon swirl. Girl, who knows? There's so many combos that can that are going to be coming up hopefully soon when this heat wave leaves. So we got the Harvest Three collection, which again I already smelled. I already know I don't like one, and it's okay. I still ordered it, and it's uh, wild for fall. This is pine. And it's sweet pine. I think it's like a little sweet. I didn't like it on warm when we had it. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't like this. I don't like black forest pine. I don't like icicles and evergreen. I have to mix a pine with some kind of cranberry in order to like do the pine. But this does smell fresh. Maybe I might warm them. It's not as strong. It's not as potent as um like icicles and evergreen. Like uh, very snowy spruce. I don't like that. Uh, ice pine. I don't like that stuff. This is a little bit more subdued. So this was a little bit more calmer, but it's just not up my alley. And, but this was up my alley. A cozy vanilla and pumpkin. Look at the packaging, it's so cute. I did like this. This is very vanilla and pumpkin. It didn't smell that strong um, when it was contained, but it's it smells really beautiful. It's really beautiful. It's not too pumpkin-y. It is like a smooth vanilla with like some pumpkin in it. It's very smooth, very nice. I did like this. I think this would go great in an open concept, in a room. It's just, it's very smooth vanilla. More vanilla forward than pumpkin. So I, I did enjoy that, but this was the winner. This can contend with the apple crumble or cranberry apple crumble with this one. This, um, this one is gonna get competition with maple rum cake. You guys, don't look at all those drizzles right there. God, give me frosting. Give it all to me, girl. Beautiful. It has a nice maple note. It is not heavy maple. It's bakery. It is cake with a little deep rum and a little bit of maple, but I smell frosting on here. And I love frosting. This is beautiful. If you are a bakery lover, I'm an almost an everything lover, but woods. Woods is just not my jam. 
this is beautiful. This smelled beautiful. Me and my niece, when we smelled it at SFR, we went nuts over it, just like we went nuts over this. It, bakery, bakery lovers, this, this is for you. And I am a bakery lover. And I think that's all the wax, because girl, all I have here is, oh girl, these are heavy. Catalogs, I needed more catalogs. I love all my customers and they all want catalogs. So um, I have like four packages of catalogs because they just go out like crazy. But let's get into the warmers I got. And I did prepare myself with my little um, little mini stand. I kind of prepared myself, look at me go. So we got, I got the two new mini warmers that I think are absolutely beautiful. So we have the Ghoulish Grip. And I'm super excited for this one. This one's not one that's gonna glow too bright. It's pretty opaque, but bro, you got a skeleton hand in there? It, that's right up my alley. And um, so all your mini warmers are gonna come with your plug-in base that comes with the wall. To, not with the wall, girl, you get no wall, but it plugs into the wall. So you get your little base mechanism. I don't know if you guys, um, I'll just show you, but um, these little notches, you can turn your to however your little outlets are, goes all the way around. And this is what comes standard with your um, mini warmer. And it comes with a ring and like a washer ring and then your bulb. But we're not using that today because I'm going to show you on my when it comes with the bulb. Girl. Always check your bulbs. I have gotten a few faulty bulbs. I've had customers have a few faulty bulbs. Whenever opening your Scentsy stuff, Always check your, your outlets, your mechanisms, your bulbs, and all that. And if they don't work, girl, you better call your consultant. She'll take care of you. Just saying. So this one's very opaque. Which I, I, I don't care if it has too much light or if it doesn't. But this hand, look at this. These are your lights. That's where your light's going to come out from. So this, this warmer is really not going to light up. It's going to be the back. Beautiful dish. It's it's pretty deep. People say you could fit two cubes, girl. I only think you need one. It's a mini warmer. Like, let's don't have no waxidents. But this is absolutely gorgeous. The whole hand grips the whole warmer. And it goes kind of like, like it curves. So like it's like gripping it. I love, I love how Sensi did that. So I'm going to show you on a, a tabletop base here. So since he sells these, uh, they're separate. I think these are like 15 bucks. I don't know, don't quote me, but it comes with your base and your light bulb. And you have to either choose ceramic or glass. Glass, they twist, it has threading, and uh, ceramic, they have two notches and it twists. So I knew that this was a ceramic and I got my ceramic tabletop base. So I do like my mini warmers plugged into the wall, like in the outlet, but I also like tabletop base depending on how I'm decorating my, my home and my senses. So we're gonna slip this on, twist it, and then we're going to light it up. And you're only gonna see that the light comes out through the back and it the hand is okay let's turn off the one light here so you guys can see really beautiful so the hand itself in the warmer is not going to light up you're only going to see the light coming on your wall or wherever you're putting it but it's absolutely beautiful it's absolutely halloween it is right up my alley one of my favorites already i knew i wanted this the minute um, i saw it I knew it. Beautiful. I can't wait to put it out next to all my girl. We are in full Halloween here and I am ready for it. So that was ghoulish grip. Next up, which um I don't really know how to pronounce this. And girl, I'm Mexican, and I think it's it's Spanish word, but it's calvarita. I'm I don't know what that means. Maybe it means skull. I don't really know. I don't technically speak Spanish. I speak Spanglish. So I'm half and half. I'm basically what they call a no sabo kid because I didn't grow up speaking Spanish even though my parents are fluent. And my both my parents' first language was um, Spanish and they learned English as they were little as well. Because um, I don't know, girl. I don't know why. But that's just what it is. And when my parents had us, they were like, English only. So it is what it is. So that's this one. I think, what did I say it was? Cal, Calavarita? I don't know. I could be like, what? Now just say Calvarita? I don't know. Whatever. Or Calvarita? Who knows? 
I don't know what it's called. If y'all know and y'all want to correct me, always down below. I always appreciate it. And this one's beautiful. This one's going to glow. This is like the Dia de los Muertos um, design, which I love. I have done um, face paintings like this for makeup and stuff for Halloween. Absolutely love it. Day of the Dead for us is November um, 1st. Um, it's All Saints Day or whatever they call it, right? I don't, um, we really don't do um, uh, La Frenda. I know a lot of my family does. I personally don't. I don't even have the room for it, but it, it's whatever. I like having, I like seeing people's ofrendas and stuff like that. An ofrenda is basically like a shelf or something that you put um, memories of all your loved ones, their pictures, and like you have offerings for them, like their favorite stuff. Um, if y'all watch Coco, they got it perfect. Disney got it right. So let's light this one up. Beautiful. Oh my God absolutely beautiful all the way around a whole glow um this is gonna go in my hallway um so we have a little night light um at night in the hallway for the kids so beautiful i'm in love with this they i think since he hit halloween pretty good in my book that's just my thoughts one little humble opinion and our last warmer that i got girl I probably broke my skull. It's all right. We got fairy tale pumpkin. Everybody loves the pumpkins. Every year, Sensi does a beautiful pumpkin and it sells out. That's just what it is. It sells out. I am shocked that this one did not sell out first day. This is the one with the LED like fairy lights in it. I believe um, the enchanted pumpkin had it. And then we had a mosaic pumpkin last year. Um, I think it was like October's warmer of the month sold out like that. The enchanted pumpkin sold out like that. This one, as of right now, while I'm filming, it was still available. So I'm a little, ooh, girl. That's not safe, Sensi. It's just like this. Like it go, ooh, girl, could go anywhere. Ah, well, it is what it is. It's my warmer. Lord knows. And they packed it in styrofoam. Girl, I hate, hate styrofoam. I am not going to remember how to put this warmer back, but, oh, Jesus Christ. Let's not break the pumpkin today, especially on camera. At least we don't have to put it together. That's, that's the things I like, as long as we don't got to put it together. And these aren't going back in the boxes. They have a place already. I already knew I was getting these. So this looks like a 20 watt bulb. And what I mean by check your bulbs, you guys, because I've had this happen to me. My bulb is brown, and I think it happened to me once on camera in one of my videos. It was brown, and this one's a little tinted as well. And when they're brown, they're usually burnt out. I don't know. Since he couldn't answer me when I asked him one time. So it is it is what it is. So this is a 20-watt bulb. This is not a 25. So let's put her in, and then we're going to check her out. The fairy tale pumpkin is supposed to have LED lights, and it's... Oh, Drop them a light bulb. Don't break the light bulb. I can't get it in. There we go. Okay. So on the inside, it is like splashed. I don't know if you guys can see. There's like speckles in here. This is paint. And it has like speckles on the inside. I'm hoping you guys can see that. So um, I think that's what's going to give it like the fairy tale glow. Is because it has it's splashed with this goldish rustic metallic well, it's not metallic really, it's flat. It's flat paint and it has speckles in there. And I think that's what's gonna give it its little, um, oh my gosh, it's gonna give it its glow. So there is a notch on the back. I'm sorry, you guys, I need to show you this. I am all messed up because I saw my whiff box in there and I was so excited for the whiff box too. So it's just a cute little like pewter color pumpkin that's gonna glow differently. I'm, I'm hoping it's gonna glow differently. So we have our dish. It is a standard Scentsy dish, four cubes. Girl, you don't need no more than two unless you're mixing. So, I mean, because we don't want accidents happening. And then we have a nice um, caged kind of pumpkin lid, which I do like these because it does let the fragrance out. To me, and I've always said this, I don't care really if 
the warmer is fully covered and maybe just like a little bit of holes I have eight to ten warmers in my living room into my dining room girl I'm good to go okay so it sets up like this really really beautiful it is like a pewter color really really nice almost silver and let's light her up let's put this off let's light her up it looks because of those speckles it looks like it has like tiny little lights in there how beautiful is this pumpkin and it is like an orangey glow really really nice and I mean it looked gold on the inside but also because of the uh, light so it's it's more like an orange like pumpkin absolutely beautiful the bottom's glowing too look at that I love this and I usually don't do pumpkins I'm more spooky but I thought this would look great next to my haunted house so we're gonna see how that goes but absolutely beautiful and it was still available on my website which I was a little shocked I, I anticipated this one to sell because of how beautiful it looks it it looks like a fairy tale pumpkin is what it is all right you guys so those are the warmers I got that is the wax I got it's on to my favorite box you guys the with box and I am liking the new oh girl we upside down okay I am loving the new uh, box the new change that Sensi did I think it's really beautiful so this is September 2022's whiff box if you guys don't know what a whiff box is this is Sensi's way of doing like a surprise subscription box and it's 30 US dollars the only way you can get a discount on this is through your Sensi club you can get it for a half price item if you meet a certain threshold of I believe it's $60 and Sensi club is one of the best ways to always get your wax or get your consumables on your basically your terms and conditions it's free to join it's free to cancel for a sensi club but the whiff box i don't get it in my club why because girl i need it now i am a now kind of person i need to know what's in it now so let's see girl, it's not heavy but girl why can't i open it Ooh, girl we got papers Me, I should have worn my ears. My freaking new Disney Halloween ears. We have the Nightmare Before Christmas theme in here. I love Nightmare Before Christmas. Girl, I was sad. I really thought we were going to not like renew our Disneyland passes because there's just some things that are happening that are exciting that I just haven't told anybody yet. But we have things coming up in... 2023 which my daughter's graduating in 2024 just saying and I was like no we don't need the passes and then the husband's like we need passes and I'm like yay because I love it so um this whiff box is I don't ever read these papers but they're giving you all nightmare before Christmas that's what it looks like so let's see what this is um it's time to start preparing for tricks treats and spooky gatherings Yes, Sensi, we are. You are correct on that. Plan a Halloween town theme party and use these fun cones to pass out for candy corn. I will not be doing that, but if you guys like this kind of stuff, I'm I'm all for it. They're beautiful. They are themed Nightmare, Nightmare Before Christmas, and who doesn't love Jack and the Gang? I'm just, yeah. So, um, cut a line, and you can glue to make your little cones. Girl, I will not be uh, making no little cones. It is what it is. I don't really care for these, but it's fun. We got nice air from Idaho. We got Idaho air because, girl, we got a little bitty buddy. It is the bat. I think last year, um, weren't these like out to at sea or something? We couldn't get these right away. Oh, and it's scented in. Oh, I think that's caramel. Caramel apple craze. And I love caramel apple craze. Um, it's like caramel mixed with Johnny Appleseed. This is a super strong scent. Look how cute he is. Oh my God. So my daughter, my oldest daughter just got a, a fish and she named him Bats. Because he's like orange and black and he's spooky season. In fact, his little fish tank is um, spooky the house. So, um, so we got a bat. Maybe I might put him next to my daughter's fish, next to Bats. But these little bitty buddies, love them. We have a room spray in scary good if you love scary good which i do i think it smells like pumpkin butterbeer from universal studio 
Universal Studios Hollywood. Um, it's from the Harry Potter land or theme or whatever. But um, I like room sprays. You, these take forever. I don't think I've ever had an empty room spray yet in my empties. So they just take that long. And we got wax. But oh, wow, we got the 3D, which I didn't buy these. Um, oh my god, the 3D. Uh, freaking they are these um scent circles <laughs> scent circles these are the 3d ones that you put together and this is in the cozy vanilla pumpkin so that's new from our harvest collection which i did not get that so that's really neat and we got a harvest brochure oh yes girl yes that tells you all the stuff that's in this harvest collection and this is the one I didn't get because it doesn't light up and I did want one that that lit up like the fairy tale pumpkin but this looks beautiful I seen it in person if this like fits your aesthetic um, at home like this is absolutely beautiful but yeah I have mostly all the, the warmers and it tells you oh girl, I should have just went over the set notes we kind of went over the set notes well now you know the set notes for um if you got the whiff box you'll know it for the harvest collection and the oils and girl this is what we got right here and it's a pumpkin like girl yes 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 so and then there you go that so we got a brochure and we got wax which that's my favorite part and girl they have since you've been doing this they haven't been stealing their their stuff which I like because I save these for my customers when I mail them wax. So this actually is not a negative for me. This is a positive because then I don't have to worry about ripping it and then resealing it. So we got three things. I'm so excited. So stay there. We got Jack's Obsession. This is my one of my favorite bars. It's in my club. Right now, um, in my club, it doesn't have an icon on it. I just think because they're available. I don't know how long since he is going to have uh, the Nightmare Before Christmas scents available for, but it's still in my club. This is tart green apple, which is clove. No cinnamon. And that's why I like it. It's no cinnamon. But it smells so good. It is bright apple. It is perfect for fall. Perfect for fall. Absolutely love this. Now, I don't like this one. And it's okay because my brother's probably gonna get it from me. Um, roll the dice. <sighs> this is awful. It's awful. It is what it is. It's awful. It is like some kind of birch wood mixed with some kind of berry that was supposed to be in there. But this smells awful. This smells like very strong, awful men's cologne. And I remember when this came out last year in the Harvest Collection, a lot of people were saying this smelled like armpits, like feet, like body odor. I don't get that. I know a lot of people did, but this just smells too awful, too man, too much. So this my brother likes though. So I'm gonna gift that to uh, my brother. And then we got the sample cup for next month's scent of the month for October. Oh my this year is going by like crazy warm pumpkin drizzle now this is also up my alley this is bakery and I can't wait I love warming everything bakery once it starts to get cool so let's get this open if I can because girl your girl got nails oh my god that smells delicious it smells a little like gimme candy girl it smells a little gimme candy so this is gimme candy this is i've been making samples i only warmed it once and girl let me tell you this blows you out the water oh my god girl can you come there we go mm, it smells a little caramel oh this is deeper this oh it's a little bit deeper it has vanilla so does this, but this is like a vanilla buttercream. This is like vanilla, vanilla. Oh, like a nice bakery. Oh, vanilla with pumpkin. I don't smell icing. Oh, this comes off a little more like butterscotch. Cause it's caramelized sugar. And I don't know, girl, got wax pieces everywhere. Oh my goodness, girl. So beautiful bakery all the way. This smells stronger though, the gimme candy. Oh, that smells really nice. It is bakery. Oh, it's vanilla, icing, pumpkin. Oh, nice. More like vanilla, and I like that. So I'm, I'm excited for that. I do get my scent of the month kit. I'm hopefully soon. I think, what, by the 15th? So I like that. So in our whiff box, we got 
girl, we got the new 3D Scent Circle, a Harvest uh, brochure, two bars, um, a room spray, girl, and a Bitty Buddy with a sample cup. I'm excited. I'm excited that Sansi is bringing the sample cups back. I was bummed when they decided to take them out due to costs or whatever. Who knows? Okay. But I'm glad that Sensi is bringing it back. And to me, this is a great whiff box. I, even though I don't like one of the scents, it doesn't even matter, girl. It's a great whiff box. It is a $30 value. Oh no, it's 30 bucks. And this is how much the box actually costs. I'll put it right here because I don't know it yet. And you guys, that's it. That is my haul, my whiff box. You guys, let me know down below. What did you guys get from the harvest? Do you guys like the counter clean and the bathroom cleaners? Because I absolutely love them. I use them every single, well, the counter clean I use every single day. The bathrooms I use twice a week. Because that's what it is. I love the hand soap. Let me know what you guys got down below. Let me know if you guys already smelled the wax. What are you guys picking up from Scentsy? Are you guys excited for Hocus Pocus? Oh my god, that is coming out September 12th. I can't believe I'm saying September, you guys. September 12th. It's the warmer and the bar, and I've smelled the bar. The warmer is absolutely beautiful, you guys. If you, if there is a warmer to pick up, if you guys want to skip the Harvest Collection, definitely pick up Hocus Pocus. I anticipate it's going to sell out. It has so much buzz around it. Here are some pictures. I'll put them up right here. guys and that's it for like all my sensi haul and everything before you leave please hit the like the subscribe and your notification bells and after all that if you guys still want to stick around there's always a video here and i will catch you guys on the next one bye sensi fam